Have you ever seen these weird cone-like structures hanging off of junipers? Some people say they make it look like the tree is covered in Christmas ornaments. These are bagworms, and as winter is nearing its end here in the eastern United States, they are really conspicuous in the landscape. So what are bagworms exactly? They are not a worm, as the name suggests, but rather a moth, Theridopteryx ephemeriformis, who creates and uses these cool-looking bags made of silk and plant parts as part of their life cycle. Let's see what's hiding inside. When I cut open one of the bags, I found a dead female body full of eggs. In late spring, the eggs hatch into caterpillars, who feed on the foliage of the host tree. I'm showing you here bagworms on junipers, as those are the trees I see infested most commonly, but there are many different tree species that can be affected. In the same area, I saw some willows and cottonwoods having bagworms as well. It's the caterpillar stage that causes all the damage to the trees, and sometimes it can result in complete defoliation and death of a tree. So if you happen to observe bagworms on some of your trees, it might be a good idea to handpick and destroy the bags before the eggs hatch to avoid damage by feeding caterpillars. In fact, I'm going to collect some of these bags and see if I can observe the caterpillars hatching. If you want to see how that goes, make sure to subscribe to my channel, as I will definitely update you on this experiment. So let's get back to their life cycle. In spring, the newly hatched caterpillars start to feed on foliage, and at the same time, they start building their bag, or larval case. They slowly weave this silky pouch around themselves, as they roam around the plant and feed. In the process, they also incorporate small pieces of leaves, branches, or even cones. This serves as a perfect camouflage to protect the caterpillars from predators. Observing the back closely, you can clearly see which plant the host was by examining the plant material used in back construction. Even though they usually stay on the tree on which they hatched, they might venture out and disperse to different trees by a process called ballooning, where the caterpillar hangs on a thread of silk and gets carried away by the wind. As the caterpillars grow and feed, their back enlarges and by the end of summer, the caterpillars are ready for the next stage of life, the pupal stage. The caterpillar attaches its back to a branch with a strand of silk, encloses it and pupates inside. It takes a few weeks for a caterpillar to turn into an adult. Adult male moths then escape the bag through the opening at the bottom. In fact, I saw many bags that had exuvi attached to the tip, which clearly shows the bag had a male inside. When we cut open this bag, it's empty, because the adult male has left. But remember that at the beginning of the video, I mentioned finding a dead female in a different bag. That's because adult females never leave their bag. They also look quite different from males. Males are these beautiful hairy moths with feathery antennae, while females look like grubs with no functional eyes, legs or antennae. They stay in their bag, releasing pheromones to attract males. Males then mate with them through an opening in the bag. The impregnated females then die inside the bag and mummify around their eggs. And that's why in winter, when we open a female bag, we find a dead body full of eggs ready to hatch during the coming spring. And the life cycle continues. Have you ever seen bagworms before? And if so, at what stage? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.